Hi! Uh, happy Manor Monday, everyone. This is my second video, and today I'm going to teach everyone how to do some fun back-to-school nails for moms and teachers and anybody that wants to have nails that everyone's going to notice and look at. So this isn't too hard. It's actually my cover photo right now. It's a set of nails that I did for a friend a couple years, a year ago or a couple years ago, uh, who is a teacher and for parent night she wanted graded papers on her fingers. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I am going to show you how to do it and hopefully it's easy for you to do at home. Okay, so there are first a few products that you need to have ready so we can just do this together. Um, you're going to want a red polish. So I'm actually using no autographs, please. Where's my camera? No autographs, please. It's a OPI color. It's red, but it's got a little sparkle in it. Um, so that I like a little something extra. I'm also using just a plain red. This is um, O'Hair Nails. Oh, this is from the Chicago collection. <laughs> a lot of mine um, are antiques. They don't make some of these anymore, but just a, a red solid plain red. I have a gray. I have a blue. And I, you should have a white if you have a white at home. I cannot find any of my white regular polish. I have it in gels, but we're going to do regular polish today so that it's easy for you guys to do at home. Um, so I'm going to just use like a nude color. Um, it's close enough, right? And um, and then you're going to want to have a glossy top coat, whatever kind of glossy top coat you want. I like uh, Sasha V or um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, any kind of good solid top coat that you have. Also, you're going to need a matte top coat uh, for the chalkboard, so a matte top coat, regular top coat, matte top coat. And then, of course, you're going to need a good base. So I like to use Sticky by Creative. Um, you can also use your nail strengthener that we talked about in our last video as your base coat. Or um, there's also a Ridge Filler, Sasha V Ridge Filler base coat. Another great base coat. But have a good base to your nail and then the polish will look great and hold on as long as it should. So I should probably do a quick little trim of my cuticles so they don't look awful, but um, we'll do that another time. I'll go ahead and just do the polish run through so you can see how that's done. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and flip my camera down. Ready? All right, can we see this? Do, do, do. Okay. Looks good. Looks like you guys can see my nails. All right, so first things first, let's do our base coat. Any kind of base coat that you want is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So you don't want a lot of polish on your brush anytime. And base coat's a good time to practice. So what you do, can we see this? Maybe I need to be a little bit closer. I don't know if I can zoom in anymore. Sorry guys, I'm learning how this Facebook Live thing works. But um, take your polish, okay. And when you lift it up, I let you need to make sure you wipe, wipe, wipe all that extra off, and. Um, and have a good base. And then whichever side you're going to use, start in the middle. And you want to like push a little bit to the back. That will give you that rounded back. And then from that middle dot, you can pull down to one side. And then from that middle dot again, pull down on the other side. And then finish off in the middle. Okay? Usually you'll go a little bit faster, so... You won't see the build up there, but go ahead and put a dot down in the middle, 
pull to one side, pull to the other side, and let the brush fan out for you so that it's easy to put on polish yourself. Uh, so you'll see when you push how wide the brush bristles go. Make sure you pull to the side and that way you'll have good lines and you won't end up in your cuticles if you do that. Okay, there we go. Just a base coat here. And then with the thumb, thumbs are a little bit wider, so sometimes you have to like do multiple round back pushes. But that's it. Look at all the ridges in that thumb. See, remember we talked about damage lines and, and lines in your fingers? Being a nail tech um, meant that we all practiced doing nails on each other. Um, and back in school, I had some damage done to my nail. It got messed up pretty bad. Okay, so we have our base coat on and we're ready to go. I am going to do my accent nail as my ring finger and the rest of these will all be red except for my thumb, which will be another accent nail. This is gonna be our chalkboard, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our red. You wanna make sure your nail polish is all uh, shook up and Good and ready to go. If it is not, do not use nail polish remover to thin your polish. You need to go, where's my thing? Buy, it's, this is Restore. This is an actual polish thinner. It will not change the color or the consistency of the polish you have. Um, this is a polish thinner. Do not put nail polish remover into your product. It will change the consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and do red. Red is the color when you're in school that you have to learn with. So if you're bad at painting your left hand or your right hand, whichever hand you is prominent, you need to practice with red over and over. Put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. You will get so good at making sure you stay in your lines because this is the hardest color. And when in doubt, leave space. You don't have to go all the way to the edges when you're polishing your nails. You don't want to get it in your cuticles. Look, got a little tiny bit in my cuticle there. Just take an orange wood stick or your fingernail, slide it along the side there, and then have a little polish remover, cotton ball or something close by to wipe off your nail. If you are doing your own nails and you don't want to mess up the polish on this hand by wiping it, then definitely use use a little orange wood stick. Um, you can even like pull the cotton off of a Q-tip and, and get in there in the corners really good. We're gonna leave this one, this is our accent nail. Go ahead and do these two red too while it's out. It's faster to do all the same colors together at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and do red here. Now, I was a homeschool mom for many years, so I don't know about the grading papers nail exactly, but uh, you could do that too. That would be fun. I know about the chalkboard, although now people use whiteboards, right? Most schools have whiteboards or... <sighs> so we got the reds on. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the gray. Here's my gray. This is going to be our chalkboard nail here on the end. We're going to do one plus two equals three, and I have a little apple gift that... I'm gonna stick on there so it looks cute. This one actually has a little bit of glitter in it, but with the matte top coat, it will look great. So don't worry about that. Whatever kind of gray you have, um, will make it work, right? Doesn't have to be exact. That's why, like today, I can't find, can't find for the life of me a white polish, <laughs> which is embarrassing. But um, yeah, so. I'm gonna use nude and it's gonna look fine and everyone's gonna love it. Nobody's gonna know any different except for me, right? All right, you can see I got a little bit into the cuticle there. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I have a little brush here and some acetone and I'm going to pull it up in the top by pumping it. That's really easy. Then dip your brush in to the top. Can you see that? And then just go ahead and wipe with, with 
a little brush and that cleans up your edges. That's also a great way if you end up getting it into your cuticle, a little bit of acetone polish remover and a small thin brush and you can just wipe it away. All right, let's do our, our white nail, our paper nail, and we'll go ahead and go right there. Remember, pull it in the back, pull to one side, pull to the other side, and then finish in the middle. Do not start down the middle. Do your sides first and then pull down the middle. Otherwise, it'll get crazy. So, I got first coat on. Everybody should be about the same with me. We're going to go ahead and do a second coat of red. If you're doing two hands, um, go ahead and do your right hand. I'm going to just do one hand today so that it doesn't take forever. But I'm going to do a quick second coat of red over these nails. Start in the back, pull to a side. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. A lot of people are not good at painting their opposite hand, whichever hand that is for you, right or left. And it just takes practice. It just takes time. Do it over and over again. I promise you'll get it. And, and it'll be great. You just can't rush these things. And that's the hard part is we don't make time for ourselves to like say, I'm going to sit down and give myself a day to do my nails. Instead, we just like try to fit it in whenever we can. And then we end up having to run to the sink and we smudge our nails all over the place. And then it is a mess, right? So give yourself the time. Take your time. Do it. You'll do a great job. All right. I'm going to go ahead and leave that nude nail. Since it has the white base coat, it might actually look better if I leave it like that. All right. And then we'll wait for these to dry a little bit. Next step is I have a long brush. Now, these can be purchased um, at a beauty supply store or on Amazon. They're actually nice little kits that you can get for nail art brushes. This is a really long, thin one. This is great for doing any kinds of lines, um, tiger stripes or, or whatever. And then I also have just a short, thin one. I'm going to use this for the letters, for actually like drawing and writing. So you want a really short, thin one. It'll be easier to manage than, than the long one. I have a nice little kit that I bought online. I won't show you the name, but uh, you can pick this up. And it has all of my nail art tools. If you are thinking about getting started doing this or you're kind of just doing it for fun on the side, this is going to increase your level. You'll be able to do so much more if you have the right tools. Um, these are dotters. I have one in every size. And then I have different brushes for different styles. So. I think these are like $11 on Amazon. Uh, if you're doing this professionally, of course, you might want to invest oops, in a, a better brand or a better quality bristle. But if you're doing it at home for fun, get a cheap one, get started, get some practice. And if you really like it, then invest in a better set. That's fine. All right, so we're going to put our blue lines on our paper. And what you want to do, make sure your bottle is all mixed up real good. If you have to add thinner, again, Use a nail thinner. Do not use nail polish remover. It will ruin your polish and it will just dry it out more. Make sure it's really good. Shake it up. All right, and then we're gonna do our lines. Oh, that looks great. If it's not thin enough, add some more thinner to your polish. And this is when we're gonna use our long thin striper, it's called. And we're gonna just dip it in and you're gonna pull it on the sides of the bottle. So dip it in straight. Okay, I can go a little bit deeper. And then smooth it on the sides of the bottle. Wipe it and keep adding until that brush is saturated pretty good. You don't want, sometimes you'll get like a little ball at the bottom. Excuse me, my dogs are barking, sorry about that. Um, so keep dipping and wiping until you get a nice smooth consistency. That way, your lines will be smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and start in one corner and pull across. If you're doing your own nails, it's easy to lay it down and pull straight. I'm not gonna do perfect here, but lay it down, pull it straight across, and just move your nail if you have to, that's easier. 
We'll just do some lines. I'll show you a couple different ways to do it. And if you mess up, take it off and start over. That's fine. Or you can come back from the other side. Okay? If you want thinner lines, you'll need to start thin in a corner and work your way across a couple times maybe. If you want thicker lines, go back and forth over them so that you have more straight lines that are evenly spaced. There we go. Keep your hand down. It gives you a little bit of stability and so that you're not wiggling and trying to be all over the place. If you mess up too, you can always like use an orange wood stick or something and touch up those lines. See this little bubble where I touched here at the end? You can fix that. Nobody's going to notice that when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and do one. Okay. And, and then we're going to do a red one. Clean your brush. A little nail polish remover. Squeeze it and pull. That's good. This is our first time. You don't have to feel like they're perfect. Trust me, even nail techs, it's not perfect. It'll look perfect when it's done, when it has a top coat on it and all the extra stuff is, is there. Take your time, do a good job, it'll be great. All right, let's do the red. Make sure that little dot on the end is gone. I think it's on this side. I don't know, I'm upside down when I'm doing my own nails. <laughs> Do a little red line on the edge of your paper. Since I have the red out, I'm going to go ahead and dip my small brush into the end. Whoa, too much. See? Use your bottle. Wipe, 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 wipe. I'm only going to want a really little bit. You can always go back over and thicken your lines and add to your lines, but you can't take away once it's there or you end up starting over again. So go ahead and Make sure it's super thin and you start small. Let me see. I'm going to do the A plus here. So I'm going to just do a letter A. A on my paper. A. Little A. My, line, my blue lines aren't perfect. I'm not happy with them, but I'm kind of rushing to make sure you guys get to see this. And we'll go through all the ones. A plus because I'm an excellent student, right, A plus, with those nice lines. All right, so it's a little bit thin. You can go over that again if you want it a darker color, more noticeable. And then on our chalkboard nail, we're going to do our nude color. If you have white, use white. I can't find my white, so I'm making do with what I have today. I'm going to have to run to the store and get white polish because I didn't realize I was out of that. Okay, clean my brush. We're going to do a chalkboard on this, which means um, a couple letters and a straight line. So we're going to go ahead and use our nude color. Again, clean off my brush so that it doesn't gloop up inside, get a nice thin line, a couple times if you want, keep working it till you have it just the consistency on the end of your brush that you want. And we're going to go ahead and do a straight line all the way across the end of your nail. See, I have too much in my hands right now. <laughs> I'm learning how to do these tutorials. Sorry everyone, I'm so used to just doing my thing and not explaining what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my own here. So I'm facing my thumb in towards me so that I can see and that it's flat and easy for me to maneuver and manage. So just a straight line across the bottom. That's gonna be our, our answer line. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip our small brush in, same color, white if you have it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, make it work like I am. 
I was almost thinking about using, I have a real light yellow. That even might look okay too, right? Like a chalky color. But we're going to write number one. One is just a straight line. And then number two. One and two. I know this isn't the best angle for you guys to all see what's going on here. I promise I'll I'll show you in a second. But I'm gonna do the plus sign in the corner. One plus two. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. One plus two. And then under that line, I'm going to write three. I should probably write the wrong number just to test people to see how closely they're looking, right? Maybe another day. This is really fun for teachers, um, for back to school night, or anybody in the school system. I think it's fun for parents too, though. One plus two equals three, right? Okay. And then we'll clean off our brush so it doesn't get hard. Set it to the side. That's how simple it is. That's it. I got a little A plus on my paper. I have red nails in between and I have a chalkboard. Now, the extra thing that I add to this personally um, is I buy these fun little shapes and flowers and I have an apple so of course this is when you pull out your nail art tools again you're gonna want to use some kind of dotter tool it'll help you hold on to things and we will do one coat of our matte top coat. It's going to make the chalkboard look, um, it's going to take away the shine so it looks more like a chalk uh, chalkboard so it's dull. So we're going to go ahead and add a top coat here of matte over this. I should probably let this dry a little bit longer but for today's purposes we're going to just go for it so you can see now it looks shiny now because it's wet. <laughs> but you're going to see that that matte coat is going to make it super dull. It's, it might be hard to tell because I have lights on this so it's easier, but it's, a, it's super dull. It really changes the whole look of your polish. And it's fun to have when you don't want your nails to be too bright. I'm going to go ahead and take that matte coat again. I'm going to use it as like a glue, okay? So clean, clean, clean. I'm going to dip my daughter tool in here. You can also, if you want, just take the brush and dip into the end of the brush like that. That works too. But you're going to want a spot on your nail that's wet. Take your wet tool, pick up your jewel or whatever it is that you're adding to your nail. I am adding an apple. Oh, my nails are so wet, it actually smushed the polish when I pushed down. But look, that's it. And then finish with a couple more coats of the matte top coat over this to secure that apple in place. Um, but that's it. The rest of these can have regular top coat on them that will give them shine and, and hold your polish design. But finish, don't put top coat on this one. Don't put regular top coat on this one. Just do a couple more layers of your matte top coat and it will hold your, your little apple in place. You can buy those um, online. You can pick them up. Sometimes they sell them in stores. They have a lot of nail art things. Even at the dollar store, they have a lot of fun nail art. Now, I don't recommend the polish from there, um, but if you're buying just jewels and little beads to do um, an accent nail or fun art, go for it. Whatever, whatever works for you. And that's it. 
you can see my nail was still a little wet when I put that on, but seal it with a couple top coats of matte and you're done. And those are back to school nails. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this easy enough that you're going to try it at home. Uh, go ahead and try one or all of these nails. If you want just the paper or just the chalkboard, do it. Send me a picture and let me know how it worked for you. If you have any questions, comment below and I'd be happy to give you other tips and tricks that I might have forgot to mention. But thanks everyone for joining me today and I will see you next Monday for Manicure Monday. If I can wait that long, I might want to show you guys some more back to school stuff, but we'll, I'll try to behave myself. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.